What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than half to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And last week I posted a video talking about my thoughts and opinions on exploiters, glitchers, and modders in Borderlands 2. And a lot of you guys actually really liked the commentary, you found it interesting, and you said, We want more commentary from you, which actually makes me feel really good because I used to do commentary before I did Borderlands 2. And nobody really watched the motherfucking videos. But that's alright, because everybody can go back there and watch them now, right? <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying, uh, last week I had a little bit of a tiff on Twitter with uh, actually Randy Pitchford, the CEO of Gearbox. And a lot of you guys are still sending me messages or tweeting me about it and asking me, you know, exactly what happened. Because on Twitter, it's hard to get both sides of the story unless you follow both people at the exact time it happens. If you try to go back and get the story, it's kind of convoluted and jumbled up because some people might tweet two or three times before the next person responds and you don't know where it happened in the timeline and it can get really fucking iffy. So, let me go ahead and explain what happened. So last week, I was talking to one of my friends on Skype, and my friend is stationed overseas in the military, and they don't have a lot of internet access, but they do have access to Skype and regular email and shit like that. But they don't have internet access for his Xbox, which he plays offline. And he said, you know what, it sucks because on his Xbox, he has all these types of games like Gotham City Imposters and downloadable titles from the Xbox Live Arcade that are sitting on his uh, hard drive and are literally fucking useless. And we were talking about how funny it's going to be when the Xbox 720 comes out. Are they going to let you like move over to licenses for these games? Or are these games just going to be like kaput? Is the Xbox 360 going to be able to connect to the Xbox 720 version of Xbox Live after a year or two of the Xbox 720 being out? Because nobody goes online with a regular Xbox anymore, and nobody even knows if it's actually possible to take a regular Xbox online. This was the gist of the conversation. And I was like, man, that's really fucked up. What about games that actually rely on internet connection? And Borderlands 2 came up because that's actually one of the games we sent him in the care package over Christmas. And he was, like, really having fun with it. And he was like, you know what? It sucks, though, because, you know, he's really kind of locked out of legendary loot. Uh, he can't spawn Vermivorous. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, well, you could do that glitch in Captain Scarlet and the Pirate Booty DLC. And you can tell your buddy to go buy Hyperius and Master G. And it'll put it into four-player mode, which is actually a bug right now. They've already said that they're going to be fixing that. But, like I said, a solo player can't do that if they literally can't get online like my buddy because he doesn't have the DLC. He cannot download the DLC, so he can't even do that. He's pretty much fucked. And I was like, you know what? I was thinking about this, and I was like, Borderlands 2 is really gimped for the offline solo player for people that literally cannot get online to play with other people. And I thought this was kind of fucked up. Now, a lot of you guys know that I do play solo. And I choose to play solo because I went and tried to join in a lot of Xbox Live games last week. Uh, publicly, you know, randomly just joining games. And, you know, nobody had a mic. Nobody was talking. You know, the leader of the party was just running around doing whatever fucking God knows what. And it was kind of fucking frustrating. And I was like, man, you know, I have friends that do play Borderlands. I'm lucky in that retrospect. And I also do have you guys that if I really need somebody to play Borderlands with, I can tweet out and, you know, have three or four players come in and fucking hang out. And, you know, I'm really lucky in that regards. But there's a lot of people out there that are not lucky in that regard. And that's kind of fucked up. So I tweeted Randy Pitchford, you know, I was like, hey, blah, blah, blah about that. And he didn't answer. And then one of my subscribers got at me, and they were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. They were talking about, uh, do you really expect him to respond, whatever. And then uh, I typed in his name, and I said, you know, Randy Pitchford's being a tight ass with loot and spawn rates. And he got back to me. Randy Pitchford, if you guys know, if you follow him on Twitter, he responds to negativity, which is kind of fucked up for a CEO, you know. He should probably, you know, respond more to the positive uh, aspect of the positive customers. And I've been coming at him respectfully the last few months, making, like, you know, open letters. I've sent them emails, you know, I've sent them tweets. And uh, nobody's got back to me until the one time I'm negative. And uh, I thought it was pretty funny because Randy was like, you know, he, he kind of chastised me a little bit. He came down at me like, like, like he was the daddy and I was the kid and he was about to smack me for being bad. And he was like, you know, people get blocked for that and shit. I'm like, look, man, I'm not trying to be blocked. I'm not trying to patronize you. I just need you to respond because, you know, I thought that the, the spawn rates on some of the things in the game for solo player 
are just a little bit fucked up. Like, like I said, my buddy cannot play online. Literally cannot play online. So he can't do things like spawn Vermiverous. Vermiverous is what? A 0.042% chance for a solo player on playthrough 2.5 to spawn him. Players that play on playthrough 1 are not able to spawn him. It's a 0% chance. So basically, you know, solo players are locked out of this feature of the game. And solo players are also, you know, kind of fucked over on the other features that are in the game. Such as, you know, getting loot drops because it does up the chances of getting loot when you do have four players in the game. Also, if they do manage to download the DLCs, you know, some of the raid bosses like Hyperius, Master G, uh, they're not really going to be able to experience them in the same way that a four-player co-op party would experience them. And then I was thinking about this, like, what happens in the future when Borderlands 2 is no longer played online and is only able to be played offline? There are going to be a lot of features in this game that are going to be missing or gimped because the solo player cannot experience them in the same way that a four-player can. The only way in the future that it's going to be able to you know, experience Borderlands 2 is to either play it on PC, that way you can play multiplayer on Steam still, or to land a couple Xboxes together and play split screen in your living room. Which I thought about, I was like, that's kind of fucked up because one of my favorite activities is going in the basement, digging through all the boxes, finding an old system, plugging that shit in, and kicking ass on that shit for a day. And we're not going to be able to be doing this in the future with digital downloads of video games and also with video games requiring you to be online or requiring you to play co-op to be able to experience some of the features in the game. So what I did was I talked to Randy Pitchford and I was like, dude, you need to up the spawn rates for these evolutions and some of the drop rates for some of the loot. That way in the future, when there's nobody playing online on Borderlands 2, you know, the solo player can enjoy the entire game with the same uh, rates as a four-player party. Now, I know a lot of people are saying like, oh yeah, well, then you gotta up the drop rates for player four, it's gonna throw every... No, you don't. No, you don't. There is no reason why a solo player cannot spawn bosses that are really fucking hard the same way four players can. And it also goes back to the golden box that's in Sanctuary. What happens in like two, three years when Gearbox is no longer supporting this game? That box is gonna be dead feature in the game. There's gonna be nothing that that box is going to be able to help you with. So that's why I was just saying that they need to change a few things in the game, like up the spawn rates for Vermiverous, maybe a little bit of uh, tinkering with the drop rates, especially after Gearbox Gear Up weekend. A lot of people were really digging on that, and they were getting some good farming done, and they were being rewarded for their actions. And that's what we play video games for. We play video games for fun, and we play video games to reward ourselves for putting us through the fucking stressful motions that some of these games can cause. And if you don't believe me, go play one of those games like Dark Souls or Dead Souls and you'll see exactly what I mean about fucking stressful motions in a video game. But no, that's all I was saying is that, you know, for the future of Borderlands 2, right now, you know, focusing on co-op is fine, but they do need to do something in the future to fix this for solo players because they've paid the same amount of money as everybody else and they deserve to be able to enjoy this game not only now, not only now, but in the future when there is nobody else playing and you're forced to play solo. They deserve to have that type of shot. So out of this big, long, blown out thing, my only point that I was having with Randy Pitchford over Twitter, and a lot of people got on to me about that too. They're like, how dare you chastise Randy? Randy! <laughs> but no, like I say, fucking some people were really, really pissed. They're like, how dare you speak to Randy like that? But like, you know what? I'm a paying customer. I don't feel like he actually has to respond to me because I have a YouTube or I have a couple followers or subscribers. I am a paying customer. He should fucking take what we have to say seriously because paying customers is what pays his fucking rent. And I have no problem with him or Gearbox. I love the company. I really do. They've done a lot of great things with this game. But they've also done a lot of fucked up shit with this game. And all I want is for everybody to be on equal footing and for this game to actually have a future for when nobody's actually playing it. So that's not a bad thing. That actually helps everybody. It actually makes everybody have a good time. 
And that's all we want. We want everybody to have a good time. So, my name's Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate that very much. But thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. My name's Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later.